Hey, fellow hungry travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Terminal D here in DFW in Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. Does everyone talk about are your food options when you're here in Terminal D? Let's go start with, you know, what do we have by D1? So let's start in the D1 to D4 area because that is this area here. There's a bunch of things. you got to walk a bit of a ways to get to it. They do have a few options for you. One, you've got Trinity Grove, which is a bar, but it also has food. It has sandwiches, pizzas. It has breakfast there as well. They have nice salads too, so you have that option there. If you want to sit at the bar, you'll be okay there. If you just want to grab and go, there's a grab and go literally across from D2. So if you want stuff there, so that's a nice little option you can have. And then across from D3, you've got the cake bar, which means, yes, they have lots and lots of cakes you can choose from. So your sweet tooth, you can finish off your Texas trip with some sweetness, but also you get your coffees here too. So that's a nice thing, especially in the morning. So uh, we're going to start leaving the D1 through D4 area to get the hike and, uh, you know, walkway back to the main part of D, but there are at least options down here. So if you're coming in, you're at those one of those first four gates, you do have decent options for food. I mean, there's a lot of options for food in general at DFW, so that's really nice, but let's see what else we have. Now, as you're heading out of that D1 through 4 area, there is a grab and fly right here. It's one of those Amazon things, so you like swipe and then your car, you go and pick stuff up and you just walk out the other side, so it tracks you that way. Some people don't like those, but they do have one here, so that's kind of like your last option before you have the, uh, the long hallway to go back down to the other parts of the thing to find more sit-down restaurants, fast food places. Whataburger is there too in D, so uh, let's go see what else we can find. Now, when you're in that no man's land between D5 and D4, so you have Eat Z's, um, it's got a marketplace, it has a bar, and around the corner here, it actually has where you can get sandwiches, they make stuff for you, so there is some options, so that's a nice one to get a little something for everybody. So uh, maybe I should get something there. Now across from D7, you do have some vending machines. If you wanna get some candy and soda, they do have that there. So if you just wanna quick grab and go, that can work as well. So across from D8, you've got the Wall Street Journal. So they actually have all the bigger bags of snacks. If you want a little bit more, if you're gonna be sharing with your kids or your person sitting next to you on the plane, they have that. Also, if you wanna get your neck pills, they have that. And if you wanna grab some last minute Dallas souvenirs, they have stuff in there. So that's uh, actually where I'm gonna to go to get something for my gate agent where I'm flying to because my wife flew out this morning and said, get something for Tony. So. Uh, I'm gonna get something Dallas for Tony in there. So next to D10, you've got the Bond Shop. So they have Bond Me sandwiches there. They've got sushi. They have other things you can grab when you're there. It's not too bad. So if you're looking for something lighter, I feel like that feels a little bit lighter when you're here. Also across the way, one thing DFW doesn't have a problem with, there's a lot of vending machines. You got some more vending machines for some Cokes and drinks for the kids or for yourself. So you have that option there across from D10. Now, once you get to D11, you take the boardwalk here to go to a lot of different options. You've got Applebee's here and they have, it's a limited menu, it's not a full Applebee's menu, but they got enough of the main stuff there, the burgers, the steaks and stuff. They have that here. If you're looking for something a bit healthier, maybe a smoothie or something, they've got pink berry right here. So you can grab a smoothie, which is, uh, they actually do a pretty good job at that. But of course, if you're in an airport and it's morning time, the most popular thing, and I will tell you, you will have a long line in the morning, <laughs> is when you're going by here, there's a Starbucks. Um, so you can grab your, your sandwiches there, your little sous vide eggs that I like, you have that. But I think one of the important things to notice if you're gonna be coming here, you're gonna be in Texas. One of their most important fast food joints is Whataburger. And yes, there is a Whataburger here at, in Terminal D, so you can grab that here on this boardwalk. It's kind of across from D17 if you're on the other side. Um, but honestly, uh, you should try and get the spicy ketchup because Liam will tell you you have to get that, okay? Now, if you're going through, now, there's more There's more things out there, but I'm gonna keep down the boardwalk here. Because this is where you come out, if you're going through security in D, this is where you're gonna be coming in. Um, also, if you're coming through here, if you want some other options out here, there is Chick-fil-A, and yes, it is closed on Sundays. There's also a Subway you can go to. Then you have the fun bar chain, the Flying Saucer, so you get beers and bar snacks there, which is kind of nice. But you know, if you're in a hurry, you're like, wait, I just want convenience store options. I want something like, dun, 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 a 7-Eleven. Yes, they have a 7-Eleven here. That, that is a full-size 7-Eleven store, so you can get a lot of really good stuff when you're in there, so if you're looking to pack up, especially if you've got a long international flight and you, you know, I'm not sure what they're gonna have, that's going to be a go-to for me, all right? And that is a cross 
from D21, okay? It's the end of the kind of walkway that's there. Don't be gate lice. You know, the people that kind of just hover around the boarding gate, waiting for their group to get called, and they hold up everybody else. You don't want to be that when you're flying, because you may think, oh, it's going to get me on the plane sooner. What ends up happening is you make it longer for people to board the plane, because you're blocking the people that need to get on first from getting on, and therefore, it holds us all up. So just wait until your boarding group is called. Yes, I know you want to make sure you get that spot so you have some bin space above to put your luggage. But honestly, being the gate lice, it's one of the things that really annoys the gate agents the most. And if you're thinking, I'll sneak in early, because I'm like, like, I'm boarding your group six, so I'm not even going anywhere near there. But if you're going to be, if you're trying to sneak in early, they'll be like, oh no, you're boarding group six, this is boarding group two. You have to get out of line and go back. Because they don't, they don't like go, oh, you didn't know? Well, come on board anyway. It doesn't work that way anymore. So don't be a gate lice. So on the other side of that boardwalk, if you're coming through where the gates are, you're going to see sugar, foria. Yes, there is literally all the sugar you could ever want. So every child would love to stop by here. So if you want to grab something here for the, the flight to have them be shaking with all the sugar or maybe yourself, you can do that or save it to your land. That might be better. Uh, but that's right by D14. So when you get to D22, you have a couple more adult options. You've got bar loot there. So if you want to get drinks and some light snacks and some food, they have that there. Typical bar stuff. Also, if you want some barbecue, you got Hickory Barbecue, and I mean, you're in Texas, so you might as well hit up some brisket when you're there, but they have more things than just brisket when you do go there, but that'll give you a little bit of a Texas taste before you take off. Now, if you're looking for snacks to take home, the Duty Free Shop, the Duty Free Shop, you know, you have that right here when you come through the other part of security uh, between D22 and D24. So uh, grab a snack for somebody back home that you care about. So if you're by D24, you've got Cantino Laredo, which actually it says modern Mexican food, which it does have, you want migas in the morning, they have that, and huevos rancheros, they've got other Mexican treats during the day, you can do that. And if you have friends that don't like Mexican food, they do have sandwiches as well, and they do have a grab and go right next to it. So if you want to do that and kind of just take off, you can do that, but their food's actually not bad. Now, when you get back down to D25, there's another little boardwalk. There's a bunch of restaurants, and you can either go that way around, or I'm going to go through because there's less people. You have Brood, which is right here, which is Texas cuisine, so you get some drinks more, you know, pub grub kind of stuff. They do have breakfast. I know that's kind of important. And also, if you're going to be walking around, they do have a little espresso bar with has some of the pastries, so you can get that nice little Danish in here, so you can get some of those things if you're looking for your coffee. Not a lot of coffee places here, so the lines in the morning can be a bit annoying if you're trying to grab some coffee to go, or if you don't drink coffee, there is that issue there. Um, if you're looking for some other tasty treats, you've got the Great American Bakery Cafe, so another place to grab some coffee, but also they have shirts, souvenirs, all kinds of treats. You can grab that when you're here, down our way, and then there's another security comes in this way, because that's one thing if you get DFW, there's a lot of different security joint, uh, checkpoints you can come in for. That's why it's really important to check what gate you are, because literally there's like three security gates based just in D, so depending on what gate you are, it'd be the better one for you to go to, okay? So there's another food court over there. I'm going to go check that one out later, but I want to walk down this way to show all these first. Because when you're coming down, you also have another duty-free store you want to grab stuff for. But also there's a McDonald's up here, and there's also a Buffalo on Wild Wings. And what's cool is like that flying saucer that was back in D. They, had, they were also seating on the second floor because this gets to be a very busy terminal. Buffalo Wild Wings, whew, they're up there on the second floor as well, so there's space seating. And you got McDonald's here on the end, but also you have the Italian kitchen. So if you want to try something else, Wolfgang Puss Italian kitchen so you can get some, some pastas and pizzas and things. So you have that option too. So there's a ton of options like Terminal D, if you're going to be here in BFW, you're going to eat well when you're here, like, and there's stuff for everybody. Like, this is probably the best airport for stuff for like, McDonald's for anybody who wants to go. You need a travel shop, boom, Univision's travel shop's got all the snacks you want, more souvenirs. But honestly, D, if you can't find something to eat in any of the other terminals, come to D when you're here. I mean, I had one of our fans came up and said, hey, I'm like, yes, this is the eating terminal when you are here in Dallas Fort Worth. But there's more food options here in D that I got to go show you. So let's walk on that other side of the boardwalk here across from D33, you got Tex-Mex with tacos and everything. And you know, Tex-Mex food, so you have that. A very Texas food to get when you are here, to be honest. Now, make sure you have a few more coffee options. 
There is another Starbucks here as well. You know, right when you come out through one of the other security points. Also, there's a salad sandwich and soups artisan market, which is just, you know, they make the sandwiches for you, which is nice. It's a little bit fresher, but they do have things that, you know, you can grab and go when you are here. So that's the artisan market that's there. See them working hard. And then if you just want some, you know, food and wine bar, you have Crew just across from D27 and D25. So you can go there and grab something as well. I'm telling you, they got so much here. You didn't like the barbecue the other place? You got Diggy's Barbecue Pit as well. So you want to grab some more barbecue, you have that option as well. This was more of a fast food kind of setup, but still decent. Okay, so if you're in the airport, one thing I'm going to tell you is don't just stop in the middle of the walkway. You've got the little, you know, carts going by. You've got people moving all the time. I mean, would you stop in the middle of a moving highway? Of course not. You're going to get run over. The same thing will happen if you just stop in the middle of the hallway. So do be aware of that because a lot of people get confused. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? And they stop in the middle. Best thing, step over to the side, look at your board, step over to the side, make that phone call. Don't stop in the middle. Like I'm here on a slow day in Dallas, so I'm just trying to keep ahead of the little cart there. But on busier days, you can get run over, all right? So uh, don't just stop in the middle because really, my wife gets really upset with that too. So uh, for all of us, please don't stop in the middle. Now, Liam will be very happy because I have found a D36 Auntie Anne's pretzels. Yes, and it's a nice big store as well. So they kind of move through that quickly. So you want a quick grab and go, you know, cup of pretzels. Can't go wrong right there at D36. Now, if you're looking for some Texas treats or Texas souvenir foods or things to uh, grab before you go, this is actually better than the place I showed you earlier. It's called The Range, Dallas Fort Worth. I got the boys chocolates. I got Tony chocolates from here, actually. Well, actually, I got them pecans because pralines, pecans are very popular here in Texas. It's like a thing here, so I got that. Um, but they also have hot sauces. You want to get ghost pepper or habanero hot sauce from Texas. You can grab them here as well. So I got one of those for Caleb. Liam, I got some more chocolate. He, what did he get? He got the uh, the chocolate toffee peanut thing. So everybody found a nice little snacky gift here, but a little bit pricier. So it's not made for snacks for the plane, but it's gifts for food stuff, but could be worth it. So I thought it was actually some uh, more fun food things to give people. And it's right across from D37. Yeah, it's like right by the Auntie Anne's. It's just right here. Well, we're getting here to the end. We're by D38 and you've got the World News and Gifts. So if you want to get some last minute snacks or a drink or a soda, they have that there to go. So you have that and we're coming down to the very end. And like I said, there's a lot of a certain thing here in Dallas. There's a lot of food options, a lot of snack options. Terminal D is your place to go. But to finish off here by D40, your last food options you're going to have is dun dun dun. Vending machines. You got Coke vending machines here, and then you got the Farmer's Friend vending machines here. So you do have multiple options. If you want to grab something a little bit healthier, theoretically, or an old fashioned Coke and some snacks and stuff and some candy, you got that there. But I hope this helps you know what to expect if you're looking for food here in Terminal D. Honestly, it's the best food terminal and the most space terminal, I think, overall here at DFW. So uh, you're not going to go wrong if you're grabbing a bite to eat in Terminal D here at here in Dallas Fort Worth so hope this helps you know what to know if you have ideas for us for what we should do at airports when I have seven hour layovers please let me know so I can make more videos like this or I can at least make these videos better bye from here in Dallas Fort Worth International Airport DFW